Is this okay?
Is this okay?
Is this okay? about. This crystal is exerting tremendous power. I feel like this is probably a dangerous item. I want to try it right away, but it has so much power. I don't know what might happen, but it won't help any if I don't try it out. Alrighty, I'll just go ahead and use it. Now, crystal! Show me your hidden powers! Yeah! Now that he's been struck by such tremendously powerful words. It'll be interesting to see what kind of changes this will bring. We need to be ready for when he shows himself. You seem pretty excited, Mr. Keith. This kind of phenomenon is a first for me too, so I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't excited. If anything, now I'm more nervous. The situation will probably change suddenly. If anything happens, I'll come visit. Don't overlook any trifling changes, and be on a constantly keen alert. Farewell. Be on a keen alert. I'm not really good at that, but I guess I have to.
It's heading that way! Women and children, get inside! Lock the doors and don't come out! Oh, hey, kiddo. Looks like all the rumbling of the ground damaged the wall. Lots of slags have been coming from the section that broke down. For your own good, you should keep out of the village. Right now, it's safer outside the village than inside. It's probably my fault. What should I do? I'm causing trouble for people. Uh, um, I'd like to help fight off the slags. Hey, it went that way! Eh? I'll keep calm and do my best. I will clean up all together. Sorry, kiddo. Our town watch is unreliable. No, don't worry about it. It might actually be all my fault. What should I do? It's probably because of the Flower Crystal's influence. Hmm. Rampaging slags. So slags can understand those words as well. Mr. Keith, when did you get here? Just now. Something interesting seemed to be happening over here, too. The words the crystal emits must be like their god's voice, giving these slags their absolute orders. However, when you used it, the words were simply scattered without holding any meaning. The nonsensical voice of their god resounded within them. They seemed to be deeply confused. What should I do? If anyone gets injured, I'll... I'm sure the people who live around here are used to this level of strife, so there's no need to worry. Boss! The big one that was inside started moving! Whoa! Whoa! He's gonna start moving too? Oh, this is... gonna be trouble. On top of that, there's a girl floating in the air, giving the slags orders! What the hell is going on? Excuse me, but what did this girl look like? Well, her hair was short, and... Huh? She kind of reminds me of you. So this girl... Is she you? Boss, I'm gonna go! You? No way! It's too dangerous to go inside! No! I'm gonna go! I have to! If something happens, we won't be able to save you! Don't worry. This little darling will be fine. Let her go. If you say so. But if you feel like you're in danger, come back immediately. Okay, it's decided then. Go. Yes, sir! It's my fault, so I need to do something about it. Well, you don't have to get so worked up. If push comes to shove, I'll settle this. Above all else, with all this confusion, I'm sure there'll be moments you can catch them with their guard down. Uh, okay. I'll get going.
what are you doing in a place like this? Alchemist, you are the one who attacked me, are you not? Neil, what are you saying? Designating target alchemist as an enemy. Activating elimination protocol.
steal you away. Unexpected resistance confirmed. Action ceased. You, you're not Neo, are you? Who are you? Why do you look like Neo? Neo, the specimen's name. Yes, she's my sister. Please give Neo back to me. That I cannot allow. I am the keeper of this. Then stop keeping her! And don't call Neo this! All of my actions have been authorized. Any interference will be eliminated by any means necessary. Further hindrances will not be tolerated. Alchemist, this is your only warning. No matter what you say, I won't back down! Give me back my sister! Wait! Hmm. That's quite a considerable tantrum. I'm throwing a tantrum too! Treating Neo like... 
Don't cry. I can't deal with crying women. Sorry. I got upset, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. I don't know what that thing was. But it's going too far for something that was created by human hands. Plus, treating Neo like a thing. <laughs> yeah, don't fret. I won't say there's no benefit to crying, but is that really what you should be doing right now? Sorry, I'm such a crybaby. If you want to cry, cry all you want after you save your sister. Not all alchemists use their skills for the greater good. Or maybe it's... Never mind, that's only a hypothesis. Regardless, if we can locate where it is, we can come up with a way to deal with it. Do you have any ideas? Ideas? They aren't directly related. But a few things do come to mind. Then let's meet at the edge of town and go from there. Come find me after you've calmed yourself. That's right. Now's not the time to cry. I need to hurry and find Neo. to make you wait, Mr. Keith. So you've calmed down? Then we should get going.
I've returned. Odelia, are you here? Oh, welcome back. You have returned early this time. When I'm late, you're always in a bad mood. Although that's not the reason I came back early. I didn't notice that the library is now kinda like Mr. Keith's home. Prepare a location. We need to have a rather long talk. Certainly. Please wait one moment. Now, why don't you tell me your thoughts about the location of that thing? It's not like I know about the place directly. Actually, I have no idea where it is. Not only that, but lots of mysterious things happened while I was searching for Neo. Mysterious things? Even phenomena that appear to be beyond human understanding at first glance can be discovered for what they truly are. Come on, start off by telling me about it. I've never seen before. After I woke up, I thought that maybe it could have just been a dream, but... I gave Neo her favorite candy in the dream, and when I woke up, I didn't have it anymore. I don't know how it worked, but I was able to give Neo an object. Hmm. So you're saying that in a dreamlike space, you were able to meet your sister and give her an object? Yes. I know it may not sound believable, but... No, it's not impossible. Perhaps it follows the same principle as the tool I used to move us from the village to the library. But Neo also said that she couldn't open the bag of candy. So physical contact wasn't possible. A conclusion that could be derived from that would be... Your sister is likely in a state of being where her mind and body are distinctly separated. Her body is most likely in a dormant condition. What you've been meeting with was her astral body. Now that I think about it, it did kind of feel like she didn't have a physical presence. Anyway, to be able to send something from this side is an interesting development. Knowing that, we may be able to take an effective step forward. I have one idea, but first, let's hear your opinion. What would you do now? Well, I think it'd be nice to be able to find the scent object. Hmm. Using what kind of method? Um, it's starting to feel like I'm taking some kind of test. Don't worry about that. Continue. For example, if I sense something that creates sound, I could use the sound to look for Neo. The words emitted from the flower crystal were able to confuse the slags from very far away. So if I can make something like that and send it to the other side... That is roughly correct. Let's proceed according to that plan. Now we should start by creating this object to send to the other side. I shall give you a hint for the basic principles. After that, you must create it on your own. And with it, gracefully locate that thing. Uh, Mr. Keith? You're not gonna help me? You've come this far. Wouldn't you like to accomplish the rest on your own? <laughs> well, I guess... You don't need to worry. When you're going against that thing, I'll lend you a hand to some extent. Oh, you will? Th that's really reassuring. Then don't think about unnecessary things and just focus on attaining your goal. The path has already been laid out before you. You're right. I need to put all my effort into this. Um, Mr. Keith, thank you very much. What's with you all of a sudden? After all, I just thought I've been depending on your assistance. Gratitude is unnecessary. I'm merely doing these things to satisfy my own interests. That is all. 
Farewell. Mr. Keith always ends up helping me. I guess... He really is a nice person, huh? about the library. Huh? It's too noisy. I want silence. I apologize. There was a major malfunction with the unit that controls the slags. Can't you restore it? If this keeps happening, I won't be able to relax and read my book. The actual control system, its copy, the spare, the spare spare, the spare spare spare, and one more spare. They all seem to be out of order. Deterioration over time seems to be the cause. It has become a serious situation that is causing a major inconvenience to the people who visit this facility. I'm sure they plan for various situations, but I guess even that wasn't enough. I apologize. I am currently attempting to restore the system. That's good. So it's gonna be fixed soon, right? I will do my best to make adequate measures. M Miss Odelia, why are you looking off in a daze? Let her be. With all the malfunctions, the load of her responsibilities is probably too heavy for her right now. To be honest, I have no prospects for an adequate solution. I thought so. Tell us the situation. If it was just to restore the control system, it would have been possible. However, as a safety measure, the control system has been double locked. By accessing the two keys in different locations at the same time, the control system can be accessed. In other words, I cannot do it by myself. I see. Then we'll just need to give you a hand. May I ask for your help? If that's what it takes to secure a peaceful reading environment, 
I would have done it even if you hadn't asked. Now that that's decided, explain it to us in more detail. Somewhere on the lowest floor is the key to the tertiary control panel. By pushing in that control panel and dropping the power at the same time, the control system can safely be accessed. I would like to ask you two to handle the control panel on the lowest floor. Fine. We'll get to that immediately. Are you ready? Y yes I'll do my best. Aisha, Keith, I am counting on you. Let's just finish this. Just finish this. And there I'll go from here. Just finish this. Gonna entertain me. We will attack the target from the sky. <laughs> no difficulties executing my duty. Let us. 
best start as always. I will attack the target from the sky. Ah! No difficulty executing my duty. Looks like my daily training is paying off. This is the control panel. This facility sure was created with a troublesome structure. It is necessary to ensure that the situation cannot get worse when the worst thing that can happen, happens. Now I am fully prepared. Please go ahead and operate the control panel. Uh, okay. I'll move it. I have succeeded in stopping the control system, advancing on to reconstructing the control system. The rest of the work is mine. Would both of you please return to me while securing your own personal well-being? Goodness. It seems like we can finally find some relief, but... You can do it, Miss Odelia! Yes, I have to protect this place that Master has left for me. Delia! What's wrong? Master? It seems like her memory is temporarily malfunctioning. But there's no need to worry. It's probably only because of the temporary load of restoring the control system. It doesn't look like her basic configuration has broken down. I'll make some modifications. Will Miss Odelia... Be okay? There probably won't be any problem, although it may take some time. Master, I... Miss Odelia... She's calling you Master! She's probably just dreaming. I'm sure even automatons have dreams when they're running a temperature. Just leave her to me. I'll take care of everything. Without her, the library's operations will be affected as well. I wouldn't want that to happen. Okay. Please take care of her. Miss Odelia, please get well soon. <laughs> 